In this video, we're going to introduce the likelihood ratio test, or what we're going to abbreviate LRT. The likelihood ratio test is the exact same concept as the partial left test that we use for linear regression. It's used in the exact same way, and we can use it for things like testing the statistical significance of adding or removing certain terms from a model. Similar to the partial left test, it has the same null and alternative hypothesis. The null being that there's no difference in the full and the reduced model, the alternative being that the full model is statistically better than the reduced model. Let's take a look at a few examples of using this test. Now the first I'll go through I'll call example one. And here I've just picked some variables to include in a model for demonstration sake. So we're gonna start with a full model that has smoking, race, LWT, FTV, and HT to try and estimate the probability of a baby being born low birth weight. And for the reduced model, we're gonna see if we can drop FTV, the number of visits to a physician in the final trimester without loss of predictive power. So first I'm gonna fit that full model right here. Then we'll fit the reduced model where we drop FTV from the model. And then we'll compare the two models using the LRT or the likelihood ratio test. To do so, the syntax is almost identical to what it was for the partial left test. We're gonna use the ANOVA command and we're gonna give it the reduced model, then the full model, and we just have to add this extra part here, test equals, and in quotes, capital LRT for likelihood ratio test. So let's go ahead and complete that test. We can see here, similar to the partial left test, it gives us the two models that we're comparing. We can see the difference is the addition of FTV here, or the removal of it in model one. We can see the residual deviance for the full and the reduced model. And again, as noted earlier, the residual deviance is very similar conceptually to the sum of squared error or the residual sum of squares. This here is the test statistic. It's the change in the residual deviance. We can see it's quite tiny. And here is the p-value for the test. With a large p-value, we're gonna to fail to reject our null. We don't have any evidence that the full model is better than the reduced. So here we conclude that we can drop FTV from our model without making the model worse or without losing predictive power. Now, of course, if we were building an effect size model, and FTV was a confounder, we might wanna make different considerations and we might choose to include it in the model for certain reasons. But here, just looking at purely predictive power, having FTV in the model does not improve the predictive power of the model. It's not a statistically significant predictor. Now let's look at another example. Again, I've picked some variables just for the sake of discussion. Here we're gonna look at a full model that has smoking, race, LWT, and HT, a family history of hypertension. And then we're gonna test, can we drop HT from the model without loss of predictive power? So first I'm gonna fit that full model. And then I'm gonna fit the reduced model, a model with HT removed from it. And we'll compare the two again using the likelihood ratio test, using the ANOVA command, entering the two models, and this test equals LRT to indicate we'd like to do the likelihood ratio test. So let's run that test. Now here we can see the change in the residual deviance. It's about a 6.7 change. The change appears to be statistically significant, and our conclusion here would be to reject our null hypothesis and say that we have evidence to believe the full model is better. Or in other words, removing HT from the model decreases the predictive power of the model. Now let's look at one final example. Here we're gonna test, should we include a smoking by race interaction or effect modification? So do we think that the effect of smoking would change depending on the race category? Here I'm gonna start with a reduced model that's smoking, race, LWT, and HT. So let's fit that model here. And then we're gonna have a full model with the same variables included, but also a smoking by race interaction or effect modification. So we're gonna add this term and see if the full model is significantly better, if that interaction term is statistically significant. So let's fit the full model. And again, we can do the likelihood ratio test in the exact same way. So let's do that here. And here we see this interaction term is not statistically significant. So these are just a few examples of ways we can make use of the likelihood ratio test.